Hey y'all, what's going on? Y'all know what today is. See, I wasn't even gonna do it. That was the new new face, wasn't it? Is that the new new face? Anywho, today kicks off the official first day of Woman to Woman Wednesday. Um, and I have to say thank you all before I go any further for the tea, you know, for the comments and everything, participating, the video responses and everything for T Tuesday. I thought it was, you know what I'm saying? I did the best I could do, you know, with the video and I think it went very well and we needed to, you know, and to me, we needed a dialogue about that. You know what I'm saying? So thank y'all for the support and thank you to those who left video responses. Much love to y'all. Much, much, much love. And thank y'all for saying that my nephew is handsome and he's cute. And I will say, if Shiny, when Shiny sees this video, thank you, my sweet, sweet nephew, for doing the video with me, taking time out to, you know, do it with me. So thank you. Let me, y'all, I'm just, okay. And y'all never mind this her. I've been to the store, had to run out. So here we go. Woman to Woman Wednesday, this very first one, this will be about female hygiene. Um, female hygiene and as well as just STDs also because it kind of falls in there, you know, disclaimer, I'm going to say right now, and it may be some things that, you know, said that may make some people uncomfortable, but if you are a woman and you have a coochie snatch, I can't see how this will offend you. Um, you know, let me just say, <clears throat> So I received, a, and, and y'all know that I'm going to post it below. I received a um, email from one of my loves. And I'm just going to kind of try to paraphrase kind of through it because it's a little bit long and I don't want to eat up all the time. Um, she says, I really enjoy watching your video and I want to suggest a topic for you to discuss. I have seen a few young ladies on the YT discuss feminine hygiene with very little scientific or medical knowledge about the subject. As someone who has studied and practiced in healthcare, I know that much of what is said about our vaginas, you know, is she's saying is basically, you know, gives it a negative image and myths about the feminine body. Unless a female has limited access to let me y'all because it's small. Limited access to clean water and soap in parentheses she puts homeless, etc. Most unpleasant odors come from bacteria vaginitis. You probably already know all of this, but it is very common infection and often results from having a new sexual partner or simply having some foreign bacteria that upset the natural pH balance in the vagina. Cleaning too frequently, inserting foreign objects, harsh soaps, spermicides, antibacteria, and sexually and sexually transmitted infections creates an environment in which bacteria and fungal can grow out of control. With so many negative messages out there about our bodies, it's often easy to blame women or call them untrained. But most people are uneducated about the real cause of female problems. I wish that more people would look into the medical research and stop telling our girls that proper cleaning can take care of all unwanted odor or discharge because infections like trichomonas, trichom I know I'm saying it wrong, but I, you know, that's, y'all know what trichom is. And bacteria vaginitis requires medical evaluation and treatment with antibiotics. Many women go undiagnosed for years with sexually transmitted infections like tricks and chlamydia. That dirty chlamydia. <laughs> Should I say that? Because some people are going to be like, oh, that bitch had 
because many of know, but I did have a friend who had it that y'all, she had to be hospitalized because they believe that if they scrub themselves from the inside, they are getting rid of any, uh, what is the, any problem. This approach is dangerous because it leads to spreading STDs, pelvic inflammatory disease, and infertility. Okay, now I'm going to stop right there. She said some other things, but she also sent me, because <clears throat> I asked her, uh, to send me, you know, some more information. Okay, we 5.38 in, y'all. We may have to do, I may have to do, a, you know, another video to this. Um, she sent me some information, <clears throat> links and things like that. And I will post the, the actual email below. I just will not be posting her name or anything like that. I thank you, my sister, for bringing that to the forefront. Um... You know, I think, you know, because I, I, you know, for one, I know my sister, One Sexy Tina, she did a video on it. Um, and she spoke about several things that she, sh you know, shared with women, which I think, you know, needed to be shared. Because not in, in, in every case, it's not necessarily that that is the case. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some women do it to feel fresh or they feel a little bit more confident if they do so many things, you know particular things ever so often as far as they JJ is concerned. But I do think it is very important to know, you know, that other things, it's not necessarily that you got funky coochie because in our community and I, you know, in African-American com community, it, it can just boil down to girl, your dead ass stink. You know what I mean? They, you know, it's like, she ain't washing that ass. She ain't doing something right. Instantly, that's the first thing that comes to your mind. And I will be the first one to raise my hand and say that that at one point was the first thing that came to my mind. Uh, but as you get older, you learn, you know what I'm saying, that it's other things. You know, not to say that if your ass go and have, throw down, you know what I mean? And you go to the jungle or whatever the case may be. And y'all know what I call the jungle. If you go do your hip de dip and get your ass up and don't wash and you done laid all night and festered and marinated, your ass going to be a fishing mess. And I don't give a damn what nobody say. Um, but <clears throat> this is, you know, this is an important issue. You know, and it's so many things that have been lost in translation, y'all. I think a lot of, and I'm speaking to my more mature sisters right now. It's some young ladies out there who, even without having these other conditions going on, don't know how to take care of themselves properly. You know what I mean? Like they need to. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just going to kind of deviate from this for a minute because if I go to the store, if I go somewhere else and see somebody, another young lady in a dirt, another young lady in a dirty bra, I'm really going to go off. Simple things like, you know, taking care of your body, knowing you don't need to do that. I'm going to call it dirty back. You know what I mean? If your ass got a dirty bra on, why are you trying to wear a, a back out? If your back is dirty, why are you not washing it? Why are you not taking care of your skin properly? Anything short of not being able to have access to water, this type of thing, that is the only excuse. The only. But that, that's kind of all for the situation. <clears throat> but <clears throat> as far as like, you know, women can walk around for years. And I, I'm going to be real, y'all. There's probably some grannies out there right now running around with trickle and chlamydia and these types of things thinking oh well it's normal for us to have that kind of you know this discharge it's normal i mean you know the jj smell it's normal they normally got a little twinge to them or whatever the case may be just you know running around with that when it could be yet another you know what i'm saying another thing you know it could be that that women don't know you know like when we go and get our pep smears and things the, the main thing we want to hear is that we don't have cervical cancer or something else and we all lord yes dodging bullet again you know going to get our yearly thing but we do need to ask you know the doctors well did you check for this did i have this if you feel like you have like a pungent odor, you feel like your coochie is just not like everybody else's coochie. 
Ask the doctor. I mean, I wouldn't say coochie because, you know, say JJ vagina. If you want to say vagina, you know, <laughs> mine got a name, honey. And, and I'm out of eye with my, you know, gyna. So he know when I say <laughs> my moosa, you know what I mean? He know where I'm coming from. Say that to him. You know, I had this as it's normal. Discuss it. Ask for any information that you can get. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, God gave us everything that we really needed in which to cleanse ourselves. Actually, our bodies normally cleanse ourselves anyway. This dust shit is some man-made shit that then came about. You know what I mean? I just can't believe that from the time coochies was invented that, it, you know what I mean? They was all, you know, everybody was thinking, you know. But, you know, ask the questions. As you know what I'm saying, don't just go to the doctor and be like, oh, well, I ain't got this or whatever. Ask questions. This has been going on. That's David Coochie doctors. You know what I mean? Know what's going on. So ask, do, you know, is there a possibility? Could there be this? And then maybe they will test further. We can't just assume that they are testing for that when they do the PEP. Now, my doctor does and let me, you know, know, hey, you got a clean, you know, PEP. And there was no this, there was no that, you know, because I ain't going for no, I'm going to need to know. Another thing, and I feel like I need to say this, and I'm at 11.32. I need to say this because there's some young ladies out there who have multiple partners and this type of thing. You have no idea to what that type of thing does to your body. And I'm not going to just say young ladies because there's some cougars out there that's getting, you know, ran through. That can cause you to have pelvic inflammatory disease, which leads to infertility. There is no coming back off of that one. As far as there's just no baby coming. You know what I mean? If that's the case. Um, just real quick, and this might be one of those things that I've really needed to do my disclaimer for. You know, in some research that I've kind of looked at, you know, some women say, you know, size matters and this type of thing, and it needs to be a certain length. But I would say on that, and, and that puts me in mind to the pelvic inflammatory thing, don't let nobody dog your body. You know what I mean? Don't be out there trying to get the biggest thing out there. You know, we all can't be size queens. You know what I mean? Don't, you know what I mean? Don't, you know, be careful in, you know, in that situation. You, with that being said, I feel like I have to say this, and this takes me back to all the young ladies out here having sex or whatever they're doing, just accepting whatever, you know what I'm saying, this young man is putting down, and some of you women think, some of the young ladies think, I'm sorry I said it that way, think, you know, hey, that's just what it is. It's just supposed to be uncomfortable. I'm supposed to be this way, uh, this and that and other. There is repercussions to everything. And on down the road, when you come to your senses and you snatch your snatch back, it could be too late. Don't let nobody abuse your body. Don't let nothing abuse you in any way. You know what I mean? Make sure that you check things. Make sure that you ask your doctor about things like trigger monus and chlamydia and this type of thing. Make sure that you know, you know, find out. Is it safe to use a dish or whatever the case may be? Which I've heard some people say, no, we're not supposed to use a dish. Our body cleanses itself that it's unnatural. Now, I will tell you what my doctor said to me, and I can only speak about me, was cut that shit out. That's a wrap on that. Cleanse yourself. Let's make sure ain't nothing going on and just do your regular cleansing. You know what I mean? We, we as women, we have to pay extra attention to ourselves and clean ourselves and take care of ourselves. And that don't just mean buying some new hair, buying some new rags and some new shoes. Because if your ass is stinking up underneath that, you know what I mean? You haven't got the fundamentals. You know, so... My thing is, ladies, I'm going to put all information below, but make sure that you check and make sure you don't have these things going on if you got an older or discharge or whatever. I'm going to put all information below. Please go to the links, read about it, pass it on, share it with our younger ladies. And I'm saying that to my more mature ladies. Share it. We need to have more women than women, you know, talks. So, y'all, that's it, and I'm out.